Okay. Um, yeah, let's bring my girlfriend. Let's do a shoulder exam. Nena? Then, por favor. Okay, guys. So let's say, well, let's just, you know, let's say this patient came in asking for an assessment if they had, let's say this patient was going into the, I don't know, police academy. And they're coming in and they say, look, I don't have any history of a lot of sports. I'm going into the police academy. Please screen me to see if I have any, you know, any, any kind of pending problem, any brewing issue that could cause me problems as I go into this profession. This can happen. Um, are we blurred? Mm, no. No? Uh, so, so it does look blurred. maybe a little more blurry than usual, but it was... Yeah. Yeah, I think it's good. It's okay now. Okay. So, uh, okay. so the first thing we would obviously look for, we would ask them if they have any symptoms. Let's just, let's just say that they say, I don't have any symptoms. They just want to be sure. All right. So the first thing you would obviously look for is, this guy on camera, there we go. You would look at the posture first, right? And we already know she has low shoulders. We already know that. Posture. Actually, right now, it's not that bad. So maybe she's been practicing. Uh, and she's not bad, but she's slightly, slightly retracted. She's slightly retracted. Now I can go with the muscles. We know that that hurts. Right? I can go into the pec minor. Let's do that so you can see it, actually. I'm going in right there. And that's tight as fuck, guys. That's really tight. It's a dwell, is it? Sure. Uh, and we already know that the SEM and this stuff is painful. We already know that. I'm not going to torture her. Here. We can check if the patient is clenching. It's not so tense today, actually. And we can we should look at range of motion. We can look at, and this is about ninety degrees, guys. You see that? Now this is very common for women, especially women. If you find this in a man, it's absolutely not normal. If you find it in a woman, woman, it's also not normal. But I would say it's less abnormal than with a man. Is it well? No, no pain. Well, so you know, just I, I'm not pulling hard back here. I'm just pulling to end range, and she says there's no pain. All right, I can do the same on the other side, and she's right-handed. Well, no. And I would say it's pretty symmetrical on both sides here. Pretty symmetrical. No pain. And the next thing I could do, I could go to that scapular spine. Here I can feel the scapular spine. I just go up and down until I feel that bone, that bony ridge. That's the scapular spine. And right on the other side of the scapular spine, what muscle am I, am I expecting to find there? Supraspinatus. Supraspinatus. So I find the scapular spine. So could it be the trap? She has some trap stuff going on, right? It could be. I don't really think so, guys, but it could be. Let's go to the to the attachment as well. You see that, guys? So now both the tendon and the muscle belly hurts. That's probably not a coincidence. There probably is something going on with the supraspinatus here. Next. I can find that lateral border of the scapula. On the low side, I'm going to have the infraspinatus, and she's grunting here. That's painful. A little bit higher up, I'm going to have this, the uh, in, sorry, the inf teres, min teres minor here. Sorry, and up here I will have this, the infraspinatus. Urge as well, and then for subscap, I'm going to show you, but it's it hurts. So we already know now. That the muscles here, there's definitely a muscle problem here. Let's do the same thing here. 
spine of the scapula is right here. Well, call it up here. Left one was worse, she says. Left one was worse. Lateral border of the scapula, go down to the low part. Why? Because I'm just going to start with the tears minor. Well, hello, hello, to up here. The other one was worse once again. Peor or peor? Mm. Oh, but the infrastructure is a little worse here for whatever reason. Let's also check the tendon. Duela? So she says it doesn't hurt. I might be on the wrong spot. I don't think so, though. No? More next time. It's a little annoying, but it doesn't hurt. This shoulder is better than this shoulder. The next thing that we're going to do here would be to look at the scapular movement. Does that make sense, guys? What, ab um, what about the uh, um, subscapular muscle and then the tendons of the infraspinatus and subscap? Would you mess yeah. with those? Because those hurt? The muscles yeah. hurt? Well, the reason, so the ten, so that's a good question. I would not worry so much about the reason why I went to the tendon with this one is because I knew I was also pushing into the trap. So it's more like to see if it hurts here and here. It's probably the same. But here, okay. guys, there's nothing covering this, right? It's just going to be those muscles. So if it hurts here, it's going to hurt here. Okay. Now, and if I was going to look at the tendon, I would probably do every ultrasound, not with palpation. I'm not saying you can't do it. You can do it. But I don't think I would. I probably wouldn't waste my time with that, personally. Yeah. But I'm not saying you shouldn't do it. You can do it if you want. Um, okay, so let's do the subscap then. Before we move on into movements. Parat, um, no. Boca arriba, por favor. La cabeza aquí, boca arriba. Ese va a doler un poquito, lo siento. ¿Por qué? Vas a ver. Porque es, es sensible, es, es sensible ahí. Sí. Just be gentle. <laughs> yeah, I will try, but it's, it's not so easy to get in there if you're if you're super gentle. So if shit, I don't know if you can see that, guys. Usually, I always take some kind of fabric so I don't put my nails, my fingernails, into the into the patient. I'm going to see if I just have some uh, because I, I I don't. She doesn't have. Obviously, if there's a T-shirt between, then you would just use that. Give me a second. Okay. So if you're going to find a subscap, the first thing you want to do, I grab the groove here and I pull the entire arm out. Why do I do that? To expose the scapula on the lateral aspect here of the thorax. If she's pulling her shoulder back, I will not find it. So I have to expose the entire thing. Here it's very exposed. Voice for Vasito. Tranquilo. I know. You say. I'm going in here. Here I can feel the lat tendon. And I'm going in front. I'm finding the lat tendon going along the lat tendon until I'm in the armpit, more or less. And that's, and I can feel there. I can feel. That's a tendon. And I'm digging into the scapula. And you see that feels like shit. The subscap, lo siento. The subscap is usually very weak, guys, and vulnerable. That's how you do it. You pull, you don't want them back here. You don't want them back here. You open them. And then you go in here. Find a muscle, 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 muscle. There you go in there. You're going to feel the subscap tendon and you squeeze in and into the scapula. That's how you do it. If it really hurts, it's probably weak. Yeah. Okay. So every cuff muscle. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> yeah, for her. Uh, <laughs> now, the next thing we're going to do. Okay. The next thing we're going to do, guys. 
is we're going to look at the scapular movement. So what do we know by now? We know from the exam, exam earlier today that the spine is probably all right. There's some nerve stuff going on. I will also show you, uh, you know, I'm going to show you a couple of more things for the nerves. There's a couple of things I didn't show you. If you squeeze, if you squeeze in here, if you squeeze up in here, just with the tibia spinal, at the, that end of that long head of the triceps, and uh, and tibia minor, that's going to be the quadrilateral space, guys. So if you have axillary nerve irritation and you squeeze in here, you can just see right now, painful. So you go in there if they if you're complaining of pain in the shoulder, pain in the back of the shoulder, pain down the lateral side of the arm. This is something you want to look into. Then I can go, I can follow, I go up here and I find that, that scapular spine and I follow the scapular spine until I go to the approximately the notch. Duele, cierto? I can also go in the inferior part of the notch. And that hurts, lo siento. Ya no más dolor, tranquilo. It's not going to hurt anymore. Lo siento. Um... So we, we can see if it hurts, there's something wrong there. It doesn't mean it's screwed up, guys, but there's something wrong, something that's not right. Okay. Now, the next thing we're going to look at is the scapular movement. Toma ese brazo por ahí primero, lento. Okay. Sustan, sustan. So we can see on the top, you know, the chromin is here, not so bad. A decent upward rotation of the scapula, not bad. Y uh, bajarlo. And you can see here, it's not terrible, but the acromion lowers a little bit more than it should. Y esa vez es esa dirección. Lento. Looks very nice on the top, doesn't it? Wraps beautifully into the thorax here. Nice. Uh, high position of the acromion, very nice wrapping forward of that inferior angle. Let's see what it looks like on the way down. Bajalo lento. Not bad. The problem she has is that she stops too low. But we already knew that, though, didn't we? <laughs> now, let's have a look. At the left side. Uh, I see. Un, un poquito más silento. Más, más rápido. And here we actually have dyskinesia. ¿Eso duele? ¿Duele? Sí. Oh. And she's, and she's deltoid clenching. Perfect. <laughs> That's what we need. Now, the problem here is going to be Getting this across in Spanish, all right, and still having you teaching you this because I don't, I'm not sure how I'm going to give her the instructions, but English will help me. Um, but she's deltoid clenching. So basically, as she came up, the chromium was not coming up. And we can see the medial angle, sorry, the inferior angle here, it did not come out like it should. So, how will I correct this? When I'm going to correct this, guys, When I'm going to correct this, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put one finger here on the medial border. And I'm going to use the other hand up in the armpit. And I'm going to pull her into upward rotation. So stand. And I'm going to tell her to maintain. You see, right now, she has a very nice upward rotation of the scapula. That's how I trick the patient's brain into maintaining and holding upward rotation. Once she's done this sufficient amount of times, she will be able to do this on her own. This is much easier in person, and this is a pain in the ass on Skype if the patient doesn't have decent control of this. Some people have good control, other people have crap control. And those who have crap control, they really need to be, they need to do this on them. Or you need a lot of patients and they need to have the money for your patient, <laughs> basically. All right. So here she's sustaining it. And let's see how we can do this with the proper translation and everything. Hey, rela relaja, relax. So let's have a look at this again. I'm trying to stand without obstructing the view here. 
esto. Una vez más, vamos a subir eso en como esa velocidad. Esa velocidad. And it's the, we might have the luxation. Hold on. We might forget the luxation here, guys, because it's stiff. It's stiff as well. So maybe I will get to show you this, the stuff I talked about. Okay. okay. Uh, listo. No, it's demasiado rápido. Duele? Stiff. Es, es como rígido, ¿cierto? Cansa, sí. Okay, she says she gets tired. Pero es rígido? Es rígido? Ask her uh, in English. Sí. Ask her if it's, if, it's stuck, if it's stuck. Ask her if it feels like it's stuck. Tensión. Sí, sientes mucha tensión allí, como que no te deja mover. Eso. Uh -huh. Yeah. So let's see. Bueno. Let's see first if it gets better with compression. I'm basically going to hold here, and I'm going to push this direction to increase, to get the humeral head up and in. Just like I told you earlier, you remember? And right away it's better. Mejor, cierto? <laughs> See, I, okay. I told you, I told you. And if I do the opposite, if I pull it this way, El ma está moviendo la coyuntura. Peor. Okay. Peor, cierto? Did you see that, guys? That's what I said. You pull it out. If they need compression, you pull it out, gets worse. You pull it in, gets better. All right? So, in her case, she has some dyskinesia. Could it be that she's doing some lat clenching here? I don't really think so. Let's find out, though. Let's find out. It just doesn't feel that tense. Um, but there's something going on here for wrong, for sure. And she definitely has some dyskinesia on that side, which might be, the, which should be the main cause here. Bueno, es, I'm just going to explain that to her. Esa escapula, esa, el movimiento no es correcto. El movimiento debe ser así, pero la tuya es así. Se baja y no, no debe. Vamos a arreglarlo para arreglar ese hombro. So, cuando el, um, el hombro se, 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 se cuando el, el, el brazo se levanta, ese hueso mm -hmm. debe levantar así. Voy a ayudarte para hacerlo. Okay? Esa posición es correcto. Esa posición es mal. Esa posición debe acompañar el movimiento. So, Él te va a guiar. So let's try that. So I just explained to her exactly what I've been telling to you guys. And I demonstrated it. I had one hand on the scapula and one hand on the armpit. And I tricked her into the position. I led her into the position. Good view, right? Yeah. Yeah. Y ahora vas a, a intentar a man, sostener eso en la posición que yo te muestre mientras estás levantando el brazo. She's doing a pretty good job here. Uh -huh. Y ahora. You see? But the only thing is, well, it's not bad. You know, it's not perfect, but it's not bad. At least she's a little bit elevated. The only thing that's not good here is that this should be further out. Todavía se duele, ¿cierto? Está tensionada. It's still tight. Yeah. And she's, she's delta clenching. Uh, I will try to explain that to her. Este músculo. Ese músculo, estás tensionándolo mucho. Cuando vamos a bajar el brazo, tienes que dejarlo relajar. Porque estás tensionando eso cuando yo estoy intentando bajar tu brazo. ¿Entiendes? Vamos a intentar. Mm -hmm. How can you tell if it's deltoid clenching versus the deltoid just doing its thing? Is it like obvious? Yeah, okay, yeah. Because when the patient is deltoid clenching, they have, they, they're in this position and you try to break them down and they're resisting you. And there's no reason why they should be doing that, but they don't know any other way to get it down. So when they're deltoid brains, you know, what, the, what should happen is that the deltoid should pull the arm towards the shoulder blade. For deltoid bracers, what they do is that they're clenching the deltoid and letting the shoulder blade pull towards the arm. They're doing the opposite. They're doing this. So, yeah, so deltoid clenching is a part pulls, of... Pulls the shoulder blade towards the arm rather than the opposite. And that's bad. 
Because what they oh, should do yeah, here, they, yeah. should, they should maintain the scapula in the proper position, let go of the deltoid and put the arm down. But they're clenching the deltoid and pulling the scapula into winging. Was he that? So that's like you're, you're winging, which is clearly a problem. And then the winging is commonly accompanied by deltoid clenching as a compensation to try to get the arm up. No, no. No, Can you repeat it's that? It's on the arm down. It's the arm down, right? It's on the, the way down. The, the delta clenching is only a problem on the way down, yes. Okay. All right. No. Yeah. Because the, the delta should pull the arm towards the scapula on the way up. The problem happens when they can't let go of it, and on the way down, they start pulling the scapula along with it. You see, look at my chromin right now. Yeah. You see, I'm winging. Look at the chromin. The chromin should be here. But if delta clenching comes down here, you see that? And it yeah. should be, it should be, look, it should be here. <laughs> should be there, but I'm here because I'm deltoid clenching. Got it. Whoa, what a difference! Yeah, and of course it could cause brutal impingement. So she's doing this on the left side, and we're going to try to have her stop doing that. Okay. This is well. I actually wasn't expecting to find this. This is going to be a little bit more tricky because I have to translate this while teaching you. But I hope you will bear with me because this will actually be good teaching for you guys, and it will be good for the video as well. Okay, bueno, vamos a intentar arreglar ese, ese hombro. ¿Cómo? ¿Cuándo? Ahora mismo. Ahorita. Ahora. Te va a tocar premio. La problema, <laughs> yo, I, I will just translate that to her. So, la problema acá es que los músculos que estabiliza el, 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 el joint, articulación. La coyuntura. Coyuntura. Ajá. Ajá, la coyuntura no están funcionando correcto. Y el movimiento de ese hueso, el escápula, ¿es that the name, escápula? ¿En español? Uh, la paleta, they, they call it la paleta. La paleta, ok. La paleta debe subir así, pero la tuya está bajando y no debe. Y vamos a intentar arreglarlo. Bueno. Ok. So, first thing, once again, Is that, uh, and I will just show her the motion now. This will be a little bit easier if she, if she spoke English, but it is what it is. And the teaching is, you know, the, the movement are the same. So, and talk. Él va a, a educar tu cuerpo que sienta el movimiento correcto. Yes. So, ese es el movimiento que es correcto. Ese, déjalo. Ese no es correcto. Así abajo no es correcto. Ese es correcto. Y debes mantener este para subir. Do you see what I'm doing here, guys? Yeah. I'm just pushing that inferior angle out and I'm leading her acromion up. It's a perfect position for her. Now, she's deltoid clenching right now. I know she is. Ahora vamos a intentar a re relajar bueno, ese músculo mientras manteniendo, sosteniendo el, el posición correcta. So I will now try to get her to lower her elbow without losing that proper position. In, intentar a bajar el brazo. Much better, right? But I'm holding her. Yeah. Muy bien. Pero obviamente yo estoy ayudándote. Vamos a intentar lo mismo sin mi ayuda. This looks very good. Sostener ese músculo Debe ser activo y ese también. Mantener el, 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 el paleta. Ángulo. La, pa la, la paleta, ángulo, ese la ángulo. paleta así y baja el brazo independientemente. And you see, she did a much better job than before. Yeah. Yeah. And she says the, she says the trap hurts. Yeah. Imagine how weak that trap is, guys. The trap is just shot. The trap is just shot, guys. It's super weak. Now she was able to maintain the position better, but she you can maybe see that she started pulling back. Did you see that? She started mm -hmm. pulling back. Entonces, hiciste muy bien con un error. Debería mantenerlo acá y fuiste por aquí, muy atrás. So we're going to try again. I just told her that she did pretty well, but she pulled back. Sustenerlo allá. Sustén es así. 
con el brazo abajo sin empujar every, todo por atrás. Much better. Do you see that, guys? Yeah. yeah. Muy bien. Muy bien. Excelente. Now we're going to try the same thing in abduction. Okay. Is this aquí? Muy bien. Ahora vamos a intentar lo mismo aquí. Bajarlo sin poner todo atrás. The, this position on the way up, she's looking great, right? Yeah. And you can see here the chromium falls. Y lo que pasó aquí, arriba era bien. Pero para bajar, perdiste la posición. Debe ser allá, pero lo perdiste. Intentamos otra vez. Vamos a sostener este, la, la paleta así. Eh, perfecto. Yeah. <laughs> muy bien, hiciste muy bien. She did a great job. But she learns, she, she's intelligent, learns very fast and has did pretty good body control. She did really well. But it's not unusual that you do this with patients and it's just a pain in the ass, guys. You have to do it over and over and over, sometimes for a week, sometimes for a day, sometimes for a week, sometimes for months. Okay? But she did really well. Yeah. So, you know, if we're going to talk about But what would be the treatment here, guys? Now, you know, she has pain in the rotator cuff, obviously due to the scapular, dys scapular dyskinesia. She has pain in the neck, and she even cramps in the trap when we're doing this. And no wonder she's complaining so much about her trapping tender. Low shoulder blades, super weak trap, guys. Do you see that? Yeah. Yeah. So what would be the treatment here? Uh, correct the dyskinesia, train the trap. Train the cuff. Every single cuff muscle seemed to be painful. Yep. Um, For sure. For sure. But all of this training needs to happen in proper scapular positioning, right? Yes. Yes. Now, one thing we did not do, I don't really want to do it because she's going to have, she's going to be complaining for the rest of the night but I could certainly hear and you can see here now just, her neck is hurting. You see that? Yeah. Yeah. She's tired already. Um, she's kind of wiggly because she's in pain now. I could also, I should also do here the costoclavicular syndrome test. I'm not going to do that because she's going to be complaining all night. I'm going to save myself for that. But we should certainly do that. And I should do the, I should do the nerve exam. But I did it earlier today. Remember, we find yeah. some, found some important things there. Um, let's just see if I forgot something. Now, you know, I could easily go in here. I can do the CAN test, you know. And, you know, maybe we will. So this was the shoulder that hurt. Now. Is it well? No pain here. Intenta tu propio. Por allá. The coracoid test doesn't hurt, but that's not 